Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lost Mine Pokemon Trading Card Game channel. Today what are we doing, Lucas? We're doing a gameplay video yes. with Charizard X and Great Tusk Mill. Yeah, so back with our very second uh, post rotation gameplay very video. Second? Good Not our very first, it's our very second. Our very second. That was on purpose. Oh. Uh, it was supposed to be funny wordplay. That's fair. So we hear Great Tusk is the like new hot mill deck from uh, Temporal Forces. Uh, Great Tusk is going to mill four cards for two energy if you put an Ancient Supporter during that turn. So the Pretty idea good. the idea of this deck here, we're going to be playing Ancient Supporters every turn, chaining the Great Tusks and milling cards. And we all know what Charizard does. I'll take heads. Uh, I will go second, please. And yeah, Charizard's mm -hmm. been by far the most like popular deck in Japan um, in this early yeah. metagame. Okay. So I'm kind of curious to see if Great Tusk has what it takes to take out the BDR deck. Uh, see if we can really hold deck. Good luck, please. Forgot to, forgot to set up my prize. Oh, that's okay, already. Good luck. Good luck. Drop I'll turn. use a big dice to get support this way. Um, Starting Rotom. Good for me. Yeah. Ultra Ball. Nice. I just want to get rid of these. I don't really know what to get rid of. I'll grab the Mander. Charmander is good, very good. Good card indeed. Evolves into the big lizard himself. Sure. Numbers are the EX. Yep. Yeah. Pretty insane the amount of numbers Charizard's been getting in Japan. Just mm -hmm. the amount of popularity it has. Maximum Bell's pretty insane. Yeah, Maximum Bell was a huge buff to the deck. A very valid strategy before Maximum Bell came out was just to, like, sit and let your opponent do 180 against you. Yeah. That doesn't work anymore. Sorry, well, this is hard to play. Yeah, totally. This hand is not the best. I think it might be a ground collapse for one here. So we're gonna go for an Artisan. Use Artisan. We're just gonna grab a great tusk. Check our prize cards real quick here. See if we've priced anything important. Doesn't look like it off the bat here. Uh, okay. Uh, so we're just gonna get the great tusk off the Artisan. Okay. It'd be worth considering getting the uh, Radiant Grinch and Concealed Carding away with Double Turbo, but I don't think we're quite that far into this. Grinch is not a non robot Pokemon. I have another way to do it. Oh. Uh, we're going to go for a Booster Capsule, a Double Turbo, and a Ground Collapse. Mailing one. Yeesh. Hey, oh, that's, that's a good mill. Good. That's a pretty good mill. That's another big part about these mill decks is like, you're gonna mill their resources and make it hard for harder and harder for them to keep killing your main tasks. So we're gonna see the Infernal Rain here. Obviously a very powerful ability that we're quite used to at this point. It's pretty good. So powers up your whole board. Powers up your giant bulky attacker that can one-shot things. Blizzard! Yeah, Charge of the X is pretty well statted, I must say. True. So can see, confirm. I would really like some help off the top here. Or if you were so kind of disciplined, I don't know if you need. Oh, great Okay. I'm nice. not kind. I am a mean, mean man. Starting dark test. Okay. So Luke is starting us off here with a prize. Very good. Okay. That's something off the top. That does give us some help. So we're going to Artisan again for our fourth great tusk. We're going to go back in. We're going to play Nest Ball. And now we're hoping the top two cards are good. Because we top deck the Fighting Energy, we're going to be able to activate our Sada, and draw some cards off concealed cards, which is pretty good. Yeah. W. Really would like to hit an Ancient Supporter. I thought you said Sada. You don't have any in hand? No, I, um, I drew a, a basic energy, so I can conceal cards, draw one, draw two. <laughs> we drew the Professor Sada's, very good. W. So we get to attach an energy, power up our next Great Tusk. We're gonna draw one, two, three cards. Those are pretty good as well. And throw the bravery charm here, it. so this can protect it from boss on our energy great tusk. Um, we're gonna attach nothing else, and we're just gonna ground collapse and mill four. What do we get? Uh, nothing too good here. But the maximum build. Yeah, I don't play any EX Pokemon in my deck, so it doesn't especially have any text into me. Man, where can you put down a Sandy Shock yet? And then Arven. See what we got from Lucas here. Back here. Nice. Yeah. See if there's a tool you want as well, maybe? Oh, I guess. I, no, I think I keep it in the stack. Okay. Sounds good. 
keeping cards physically in your deck is pretty important. Indeed, can concur. Mm -hmm. So it's always important with these mill decks to see what you've milled over. So we've already hit two fire energies and two of Lucas's boss's orders. Boss is really important to get around these tools once he runs out of vacuums. Lucas is only playing one vacuum in his list, so. Buddy Poffin, mm -hmm. getting rid of this guy. Very good. Bugger Wolf, Mike. So we got a. Oh, uh, Burning Darkness. For knockout. Okay, so we're going here. Let's see what we got going this turn. So I'm going to put up this great test, I think. Drop a turn. That was a pretty good one off the top, I won't lie. Um, so we're going to play an Earthen Vessel and just put a Nest Ball. Trying to get a couple fighting energies. Okay, how many cards do you have in your hand? So it's important to know with the Hand Trimmer. Five. So five exactly Hand Trimmer will do zero things to Lucas on this board stage. We do have Explorer's Guidance, the new supporter is an ancient supporter. You look at the top six of your deck and put two in your hand, the rest in your discard. So you can really start cycling pretty aggressively. Um, okay, I think it's two pretty easy takes here of those. Yeah, so I'm going to discard, yeah, those four. Okay. We're going to get a concealed cards going here, draw some more cards. We're rocking and rolling, nice. We're going to counter catch up to Rotom V. No! We're going to go for a no, whoa, whoa, whoa. fighting energy to the active, an ancient booster to the bench, great tusk. Oh, gosh. I think... Um, it's probably worth... It's really important to pal pad proactively with this deck. It really helps you just need to, you have to play an Ancient Supporter every turn, otherwise your deck just mills 25% of the cards that you're supposed to. Uh, milling one for two energy is not good enough, but milling four, that's a lot. Uh, and then I'm gonna use Ground Collapse and mill the top four of your deck. Nothing super important that time either. Drop turn. Yep, very good. Let's see, let's Catch Retreat, nice. Now, do I even think I want my own or you? Yeah, you're going to be giving me plus cards here. Yeah, really and you just shuffled them into your deck. Yeah, I think it's probably better to play on it later. Burning Darkness. Perfect. So this is what you want to see with this deck as we start tanking attacks. The Bravery Charm gives, gives us a 10 HP left. Okay, that was a pretty good, pretty good draw. Uh, we're going to Super Rod here. Get back two Great Tusks. So we're only going to have, Lucas has four more prize cards, and then I'm going to Artisan right away for another, uh, and he needs to get through four great tusks. Oh, so. this is bad. Yeah, we've got, we've got time to make it through here. And I've got the Sada's Vitality. Do I have two fighting? No, it doesn't look like I do. So we're going to go ahead and get this down, draw one, two, three. Okay. I'm going to... Counter catcher up the Rotom B again. Ah. And we play the Sada, so we play our ancient supporter. We're gonna go ahead and ground collapse and mill four. What did we hit this time? Oh, there's a seal stone, that's a decent hit. Yeah, well, Drop turn. Let's see what Lucas has here. Another retreat, not bad. I wanna get this off the board while it's yeah. a tool. That's right, that's correct. And let's see, is Lucas out of Burn boss's darkness. orders now? Lucas is officially out of boss's orders, so he has to go through all the, the great tusks I give him, which is pretty sweet for me. Yeah, true. Um, here we're going to start it off with, I think, a Hasuian Heavy Ball. I don't No, We didn't prize any Pokemon. I just don't want to draw that again. Good to see that I prized some not super important stuff. Tusk and deck still, so I'm gonna Artisan for the last Great Tusk. I know you can't punish me with the boss anymore. So I can maybe even just not feed you this damage Great Tusk at all and make you go through another one. Ooh, that'd be bad. Because if we're doing the math, then it would be with all with two Great Tusks, you would be rolling 10 cards. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna use Concealed Cards and you discard the fighting I need to play the Sada in my hand. How many cards do you have in your hand now, Lucas? Cease. Okay. So it's still not really worth playing a hand trimmer. In the Sada's Vitality, put energy to the active, draw three cards. 
is good. We've got another ancient booster capsule here. Uh, we are going to counter catcher up here, a Rotom V. Stop. And uh, I'm going to attach this double turbo to the bench, Great Tusk, and ground collapse and mill four. Perfect. Iono. Iono and the collapse stadium. Let's see what Lucas has got going here. Does he have another energy? Oh, there's the missed energy. I am down all my counter catchers now, but still making you exhaust resources. Okay, so another 180 hit here. Don't quite have an ancient supporter yet, but we do have a Poke Gear. See if we can't hit one. Well, the first one was an ancient supporter, after all. Okay, we did want the Explorer's Guidance because I don't have any fighting energy in the discard, so Sada is unfortunately not playable at the moment. But I think we might be on track to mill your deck here, Lucas. How many cards do you have in your hand? Six. Okay, so there's the Explorer's Guidance. Look at the top six. One, two, three. Six cards. So I think we're gonna take those two, discard all those. Yep. Um, play a pal pad here, get back a Sada and Explorer's Guidance. Just keeping those in our deck, able to play the supporter every turn. This is broken. This man. deck is pretty cool, I will say. It, it does the thing, it, uh, it just cycles through the deck. Because the Explorer doesn't put cards back in your deck, so you're just able to, like, Counterproof yourself continuously, kind of. True. Uh, and then we're gonna ground collapse, mill four. Ah! There's a super out. That's a big mill. That's three more cards potentially into Lucas's deck here. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I think you're gonna play it now. How many cards did you have in your hand? Six. Six? Okay. Yeah, I think this may be worth playing. Uh, so, thankfully, I did play the Pal Pad, so t I know that I'll be pretty likely to draw an Ancient Supporter here. I drew four of them, so that's pretty good. Oh, uh, Burning Darkness. Okay, Luke is down to his final two prize cards here. Uh, we're gonna draw for turn. And I'm gonna play an Explorer's Guidance. Look at the yep. top six. Okay, there's my other Super Rod that I wanted. That's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna discard. I think I'll just discard a Pidgeot Thief Fighting. Got enough. Playing six uh, HP tools. boosting tools. Yeah, that was something that uh, Lan saw in the lists. Me and him were both like, yeah, we do not have enough ways to tank hit. Yeah, I really have been enjoying the six tools because, like, into something like Zard, you're able to make all of your great tests just so tanky, right? Um, yeah. Which is really important, I think. So we're going to get back to Geot fighting great tests from an artisan. For the great quest. Artisan's really good in this deck. There's not very much stadiums in decks post rotation deck lists because Path isn't around anymore. Yeah. So there's not really like Charizard doesn't need to play like five Path bumps. We're only playing two stadium ups, one lost vacuum, one collapsed here. And that's going to be really good for something like Great Test. Like, traditionally, uh, lost vacuum would be really helpful here. So we're only playing one, so it's good for me. So we're going to go for the collab or the concealed cards. We're gonna double turbo this great task. We're gonna throw a hero's cape, the new ace spec that gives 100 more hit points. It's gonna be the best ace spec to play in this great task deck. And then we're gonna ground collapse and mill four. That'll be hit this time. Double candy, interesting. Nothing really super important. How many are we at here in Drop the deck? Four, eight, nine. Ten okay. is not good. And we're just gonna check Lucas's discard pile. He's down a super odd. One, two. Artisan. Two Iono. Oh, that's one more. I am losing this game. I mean, it's very possible that you get milled out by the Tusk. Tusk is Still. it's pretty strong. Burning darkness going in. Okay. Booster capsule put in the work. Uh, we have four cards left in deck. So that's good. Yeah. I'm gonna play an explorer's guidance, so we're gonna look at these. in your hand, Sir Lucas. Let me check here. Thanks. I got five. Okay, so I don't think this hand trimmer is really going to do much this game. I just think it's probably better than the other cards here. Yeah, I think it is. So we're going to discard Fighting and Forest to Seal Stone. 
Now I'm gonna bench Pidgeot V, use Vanishing Wings, put it back in the deck. Very important. Uh oh, I have dropped cards. No. How unfortunate. Um, so I'm gonna drop the one, thank goodness. And then I'm gonna ground collapse and mill. You, there's one behind you. What is there? Oh, you're right. Okay, so I'm gonna ground collapse and I'll grab my card while you are taking your turn. You mailed a Charizard X, a Charmander, a Jirachi, and a Counter Catcher. Sweet. Drop the turn. I need an Iota here. I miss. And that will be game. If, how many cards do you have your deck, Lucas? Four. All right, you let Burn me do it. Darkness. Okay, so Lucas goes do to it. one prize card. Do it. We got the Great Tusk. Gonna put it up with the Hero's Cape do Ace it. deck. Do it. Draw for turn. Vanishing Wings. Do it. Explorer's Guidance. Yeah. Vanishing Wings. Yeah. Ground. Yeah. Collapse. GG. Good game, Lucas. Ground Collapse is pretty good. I, I mailed a lot of cards that game. True. How do you feel about that match? Uh, it's pretty bad. You know, for me, um, I wish that Great Tusk could have a way of renewing, like, uh, HP. Like, I wish you could have a way to, like, pick it up. Heal. That wasn't the The problem is you can't play other supporters because you have to play the Ancient every turn for the uh, ground collapse attack, right? Yeah. So it can be kind of problematic that way. But, but uh, I, I think, think that proved that this deck is its not just a meme. I initially thought this Great Tusk deck was just kind of memeing, but... If you think what the problem with things like Durant in the past is they just got one-shot by everything. But we saw has some bulk. Great Tusk is tanky. Like 200 hit points with the booster capsule, 190 is with the bravery charm still enough to live burning darkness. And things like Trinity Nova that's doing 180 usually with a double turbo, you can live a couple of jacks with those. And if each Great Tusk is milling eight cards, you're gonna that's deck them out. Insane. You're gonna deck them out. Because you can do that five times at least. 40 cards. Yeah, and you have the enough ancient supporters to play one every turn. Once you get rolling, you have the pal pads to recycle them. The Explorer's Guidance really thins your deck to the cards you just need. Uh, so if you get Iono, like I was saying earlier, you're just, you're gonna likely get the cards you need uh, off of the end now. Because you're yeah. always drawing six too, so. But yeah, that's been Great Tusk vs. Charizard. Hope you guys really enjoyed that one. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, leave us a five-star review on the podcast on Spotify if you watch us there. Lucas, unless you have anything else to add, I think we're, I think we're done here. I think we're done. Okay, You thanks. guys have been watching the Lost Mind podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's not the podcast. No, it's not the podcast. That's right. You guys have been watching the Lost Mind channel. 